Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to create an Apple-like watch face absolutely free with zero coding skill and to top it up, you can even sell it and earn money from it. So that being said, let's get started. If it's your first time to our channel, please make sure you subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you're really helping our channel to grow and also making sure that you don't miss any upcoming videos from our channel. And if you guys are here because of Fitbit Versa, please click on to our playlist. You'll find one of our playlists exclusively for Fitbit Versa where we have 43 plus videos all about Fitbit Versa. And I'm pretty sure you'll find something interesting in it. That being said, here I am on the fitface.xyz uh, desktop browser. I have done a detailed video where I have shown step by step how to install a fit face uh, watch face onto your uh, Versa or Ionic and uh, how to create an account, how, what's the difference between a mobile and a desktop browser and uh, how to sell a watch face and where you will earn money and what's the payment gateway and stuff like that. So make sure you check out that video it's linked up here and also at the end of the video. But in today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how to create your custom watch face. Uh, I was recently working on this barcode watch face where you can see I have integrated a barcode which shows up like this. And if someone were to scan it, go straight on to my YouTube channel. Uh, that's just to show how what things can be done. But in today's video, we'll, I'll be teaching you how to create this Apple like watch face. So to do that, you hit this new clock face right here. I have already created this if you want to purchase it it is available um, onto the store for 25 cents if you don't want to spend any money just follow this step and you can recreate your own and you can do it for ionic and versa as well uh, in terms of template you can also use an analog where instead of this digital clock there will be an analog clock but in today's video we are using a digital clock and hit create and this is your workspace now i'm going to hide everything right here except the rectangle and we'll start with the background and I'll, i usually prefer the background black um, now the rectangle is an animated effect which i'm going to show you how it will look uh, in terms of the border color i prefer something fluorescent looking because uh, i have seen even at a low light or a low backlight it just looks uh, pretty awesome uh, now I'm gonna duplicate this layer uh, and I'm sh gonna show you how to change the orientation and now instead of horizontal I'm gonna make it vertical and I will pause the video and I'll just recreate the other so what I have done is I have created four copies two on this corner and two on this corner with this little handle right here you can actually change the position uh, the reason why I'm showing you that is it's crucial because you want the start point to be uh, one of the corner so that way uh, the effect will look pretty awesome like this that the border starts from one point and it ends up to the other point from both direction looks just awesome now I'm gonna uh, group this layers so to create a group you hit this plus icon and you will see uh, the group right here and you name the group as uh, border oops sorry that's the code screen uh, sorry about that uh, the code screen was open now I'll name uh, the group as uh, border and then start adding up the rectangle as soon as I add uh, start adding up things in it uh, you can see that they are just uh, not there because as soon as you create a group it aligns itself to 150 and 150 at the center of the frame so once things are in group uh, you can edit uh, all the thing as a group so now if I were to move I'm just moving the whole group together so what I'll do is just I'll line things up and this is how it looks uh, it's not perfectly centered there you go now it is and then you can lock it up because once you lock it up you won't be able to accidentally move it uh, so that's one now I'm gonna create another uh, layer uh, which is basically a circle 
I'm gonna make it to about uh, 79 pixel and just place it in one of the corner um, color white you can again keep it whatever color you want will duplicate a layer when in the bottom layer will change the color to gray just in a while I'll show you why to create an awesome effect now the radius I'll keep it two point bigger so that now you can see this gray border around the circle and that just looks awesome so these are the two circle now in terms of time uh, we'll select the layer time drag it all the way up I like to organize my thing so I'll name this time in terms of uh, text color we'll keep it black um, and uh, we also want to change the font size to maybe 54 uh, and then we'll just keep it in the center again you can keep it slightly bigger as well if you want uh, now I'll show you quickly another effect right here so that's the bottom layer uh, I'll change the color of the bottom layer just as we did the border for the circle I'm doing a shadow effect for the font so now I'm changing the X and Y position to about two points sideways and downwards so you can see this nice awesome looking uh, effect right here uh, so that's time and just in the same way I'm gonna rearrange this uh, date and day as well I'm pausing the video and I'll be right back so as you see right here I have uh, created all this thing one thing I wanted to show is in the date it was just up to here the year wasn't there in the date so what I did was I went into the tags which is right here and then I found the code for um, the long year four digit right here so it's hashtag D uh, four Y's and you can see I just pasted it there and the year comes up over there and I just aligned and created the effect for all that now I'm gonna create a group for all this and we'll just name the group as center now in all this whole process is a bit lengthy it does take a while for me personally it took uh, the original watch face it took about um, uh, give or take 35 minutes um, uh, just I'm putting and dragging all the things in here and then uh, once done I'll show you how to rearrange so now that all the layers are arranged you can see again it aligned it to 150 and 150 so now all you have to do is is since it's a group everything will be selected and then you just drag the whole thing and keep it here so that's how this works. now I'm gonna lock this group up so it's in place uh, likewise I'm gonna create another circle now and that circle will be for the calories and it's a small circle just about this size and we'll place it right around here and then I have kept it as red now I'm just gonna duplicate this layer and then the bottom circle will just make it a bit lighter color in a while I'm gonna show you why I did that to create an awesome effect just make it a radius about two point bigger and you see this nice little effect right there uh, now the next layer I wanted to add is I have change the font of date and day to uh, this one it's a condensed font and it's lo it looks pretty good now I want calories to be display displayed in that section so I'll just go ahead and get grab the short code for uh, calories and it says uh, calorie burn uh, that's the goal number of calorie burn in kilocalories so I'm just gonna copy this code and paste it right here we'll keep the text um, black and just so you guys know while at designing uh, you need to keep the maximum figure in mind so you can see the calorie burned is four figures right here but sometimes the calorie burn can really go to five figures so you want to keep an additional space right there and you can definitely go ahead and do that by decreasing the size of the font so maybe 27 so that way in case if there were to be another number over there 
there would be enough space for it to be there so I'll just keep it right here and now I'm gonna add another text layer and uh, same font family and we'll just change the text to calories and then I'll change the color to as usual black and then fonts to about 20 and then just move it right here it's a bit way too bigger so we'll keep it about 14 that's again a bit too bigger let's see if it's the same font yes uh, and maybe 10 so that looks pretty decent so since this uh, circle is created now I'll create an, a group and be ready so now that the group is created I'll name the group as calories and uh, we can again it aligned at 150 by 150 so it was way to bottom I just had to drag it up and place it around here so now that this group is done I will lock it up now it's really easy from here on uh, because all you need to do is just duplicate the whole group so now that the whole group is duplicated I'll lock the bottom one and then the top group what I'll do is I'll, I'll just move the group to somewhere uh, a different place and we'll name it as uh, steps and we'll just change the format so the first thing to start with is uh, changing the um, circle radius we'll make it uh, a bit smaller uh, and then the other circle radius to about uh, 25 now you can't really see that because uh, this one we have to make it a bit bigger there you go now in terms of text since you are in a group you cannot kind of drag things because if you try to drag things the whole group will move so you have to individually arrange the layer and I'm gonna show you what I mean but since this is a, a, a step one we'll just get the code for steps which is this one and we'll paste it right here so it'll be steps now steps is like five digit maximum so we have to make it really small uh, maybe about 20 uh, that's a bit too bigger about 16 would be perfect now to change the x and y you have to do it from here because as i said you cannot drag if you do the whole group will move so we'll just change it from here um that looks a bit centered uh, and now i'll change the y position to bit up so that looks pretty good and now i'll go to the text which is uh, the steps so it's really crucial that you understand the x and y position so i have to move it from left to right so i'm gonna change it to a higher number maybe 29 uh, right a bit bigger um, a bit higher there you go this looks good and now i want to nudge it a bit up in the y position so i'll decrease the number uh, to maybe 27 and there you go so that's perfect so that's uh, this one and now what I'll do is I'll just start recreating the groups and allot it to different statistics and just be right back with you guys at the end. So here I am at the end. Uh, I have created each and every group. Uh, so I'll just show you how things look. So this is the border. Then the elevation circle. Uh, I'll just use this eye icon to show you how it looks. So this is the elevation circle where I have named it as floor. Uh, then this is the kilometer you, for the distance. And then this is the distance. Uh, then this is the calorie. Um, then this is the active minute. Then this is the steps. So likewise, I have created uh, all the group. It was, as I said, a bit longer. But now that I have created it, uh, it's just ready to go and I will find it uh, in my workspace and then, then I can just come back and change it to whatever I want so let's say if I don't like this color scheme I can come back and change the colors let's say if I wanted to change the border color to something different then I just go here and then change it to whatever color I want so it's highly customizable once you create it all you gotta do is just come back and change things you can change image and put 
whatever image you want uh, change the statistics so that way things works pretty good with this so i really hope you guys found this video helpful uh, please give this video a thumbs up and uh, share this video so it can reach out uh, other people and uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel uh, please uh, check out our other videos i'm gonna see you guys in the next video till then take care